Conditions at the Corpac Stadium were Baltic. But Harlequins will have been warmed by the makeup of their match day 23. Their internationals had returned, and Rachel Burford, after injuring her knee in last season's final, was back in the quarters. With 15 minutes played, the defending champions had muscled their way deep into sale territory. And Vicky Cornborough, one third of an all red roses front row, was on hand to open Quinn's account. England's autumn campaign had been utterly dominant and Amy Kikane, vice captain for the day, carried that form back into club colours as the visitors executed a trademark rolling move and marched their way to a nine-point lead. Quins were forced to be patient in their hunt for a third score as play grew scrappy, but the pressure on Sharks grew as the phase counted and Scotland's Jade Conkle was able to seize and ground a loose ball beneath the posts. Langi Tuima had brought her kicking boots up north and added the extras. Harlequins weren't the only side bolstered by returning stars though, and it was Conkle's Scotland teammate, Rachel McClacken, who retaliated immediately. The flanker left half the opposition defence clutching at her heels en route to a fine solo score, which fellow Scot, Sarah Law, duly converted. If defences give Ellie Kildun an inch, she'll take a mile. And the fullback proved once again what a fantastic signing she was for last year's champions with her first try of the afternoon. Some quick thinking and then even quicker afterburners. The first 20 minutes of the second half proved a stalemate, but who better to break it than the returning Rachel Burford? Her chip over the sail defensive line sat up perfectly for a flying Kildun who bagged her brace and left the hosts with a mountain to climb. With just moments left to play, Harlequins managed one more and Conkel carried hard through traffic to triumphantly place the cherry on the cake with her second of the day. Tuima's conversion brought up a final score of 36 points to 10. And the reigning Allianz Premier 15's champions travelled back south with five precious points, having climbed to third in the table.